This week, Section 1 Athletics in the town of Mamaroneck lost a legend. If you knew Keith Yeiser, you were lucky. He was a loving husband, father, coach, mentor, and the most loyal person you could meet. My father, he was a father to many, 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 many people. Standing six feet five inches tall, Yeiser was a big presence wherever he went. That was never more evident than the 30 years he worked in the Mamaroneck School District. The children were always first. He would step over an administrator, step over a parent to make sure that that child or that student got what they needed to be successful. He didn't care what color you were, uh, what your nationality was. He was there for you, uh, encouraging all the kids and, 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 and the adults, you know, and um, everybody's life is better because they had an opportunity to meet. Keith Yaza. When he wasn't working, you could usually find him rooting on the Tigers. It didn't matter the sport, but when late February and early March came around, the King would take his throne. This is an experience that's, I guess, similar to Madison Square Garden or anything else. This is the mecca of Westchester High School basketball. Every day during Section One's Basketball Championship Week at the Westchester County Center, Yeiser would sit in the first row at center court. He was just as popular as the traditional gold ball trophy. You know, when you go there, you see him, center court, the white hat on. Some people want to know who is he? You know, how come he gets those seats? How come I can't sit there? That's what I'm going to miss the most. The number of games Keith attended throughout the years is impossible to count. One thing is for sure, though, the county center will not be the same without him.